Hello, what's up ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, the start of the second century of uploads. This is episode number 101. Unlocked ourselves, Dimitri Payet. He, uh, he has a Christmas hat on, a Santa hat on, so that's obviously a big plus for, for his card design. Since we got ourselves that Martinez, um, it's... He's an Argentine. He can go in the squad with Enzo, with Di Maria. Maybe we can make something work there. And then also get Guendouzi and Payet in. Alongside some of the mainstays like Alawairan, Di Natale and Cordoba and that sort of thing. But do this player pick. One of two 86 plus base or World Cup heroes. What are we going to get? Open it up, Tom. Let's see. We get... Oh, no. Mascherano, who we've had before and already put into SBCs. We've had him twice before already. And Di Natale, who we've already got untradeable. Big Sag. Minimum I'm going to get is 83s. And there's 25 players in there. And it's the minimum I can get. So surely there's going to be a lot of a lot higher rated stuff. <clears throat> Do you know what? I wonder if anyone's ever got 25 83s. Or like got 84 as their max or something like that. I don't get a special card, which is... It sucks. It really does. Uh, we get Ruben Diaz, so not like a 90 or above or anything like that. So I think, initially, I think definite L, right? It's not a great one. You know what? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players, 85 and above, eight, nine there with the two winter wild cards that were at the back of the pack. So we kind of got that and a little bit more fodder. Welcome to the club, base Maldini. Now you might be thinking, Tom, it's January. It's literally 2023. What are you using a baby icon for? Well, I used baby Pele for like the whole year last year and he was brilliant. Uh, and I just think that this Maldini is going to be a solid, solid center back. 87 pace, 90 defending, 78 physical is weird. It's low, isn't it, for a, for a center back? One of four, 84 plus player picks. We get ourselves a team two into wild cards in Adama Traore. That's a nice expensive card. That at the time of getting him, oh, I was trolling my mates on Discord that I was going to take Tonali, by the way. Uh, at the time of getting him, was worth 185k, nearly 200k. One of four, 84 plus. Oh my god, we get ourselves a uh, win a wild card, Garrido. Why is he there, by the way? It's such a trash card. It's rubbish. So we take ourselves the Kaylor Navas duplicate. I'll discard him in a sec. Player pick number two. 84, 84, 85, 85. I guess one of them's all right because it's Jesus Corona. Uh, we'll take the special card, I guess, but it's still it's only an 85, isn't it? It's not great. And then an 88 in Donnarumma. Yeah, no complaints, really, of getting two 88s in those player picks. Uh, we get ourselves a 1 of 4, 84 plus for 11 wins. And we get a win of wild cards. We get 87 rated Kevin Prince Boateng, who has the same stats as his brother Jerome from a previous FIFA. So we can open up this base icon player pick now. Three, two, one, boom. Hopefully I've done it correctly. I think I've covered them nicely. All right, so it's not someone that we already own. So it's not Torres or Maldini. And we'll have a little look again. We'll find out if it's a goalkeeper or an outfield player real quick. Once again, that's an outfield player. 87 passing, 77 physical. That's not giving it away yet to me. Oh, that, that to me, could, that could be SEN. I think that could be SEN. Am I right? Boom. All right, baby SEN. That is correct. So as we go forward here, I'm not sure what to think about the, the pace and dribbling here. 80, 88, 88, 84, 87. It's a good card. Who is that? Figo? Is that Figo? Let's move it over a touch. We start seeing some some dark locks. See, I think that's that's got to be Figo, right? Yeah, I, I just remembered once before that his baby has got 88, 88, 88 or something like that. Yeah, so 78 pace, 85 dribbling, 84 shooting, 92 passing. But also 71 defending, 78 physical. Why can't I figure out who that is? Ra Raquel May? Is it? Oh, David Beckham. I had no idea that that was going to be David Beckham. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 
Between our three base icons, we get either Bex, Figo, or Essien. And I, I just like Beckham. I, I think I think I'll have fun with him. I've taken David Beckham. This is a big old pack, ladies and gentlemen. We get German centre mid from Bayern. That's right. We get a 99 dribbling, 91 rated Joshua Kimmich. What a dub. Obviously, we completed the whole thing. I nearly had a 1,000 players, I think, which without opening any packs from FIFA points means it was super simple to go ahead and attain level 10. Uh, so we get all sorts of packs. Um, and actually, we end up getting uh, 183 and 384s. So certainly not the best thing in the world. But uh, the next player pick was much, much better. We get a 91 rated Kevin De Bruyne. Hey, I didn't know what to expect because there were so many different rewards popping up left, right and center. We get quite a good little super sub in form here in Openda. Very similar card to what he had last year as one of those, um, what was it, like a, a league foundations thing. Uh, and yeah, he's 98 pace, very good at dribbling, shooting and physical. Uh, uh, a Lafont walkout goalkeeper in form. Second one is even better with us at an 89 rated Sadio Mane. Great stuff there. And I actually got a Centurions player, a Spanish right mid 87 rated Joaquin uh in in the in the pack from that so i've packed my first centurions lovely stuff and it was on friday night just after the promo had come out best we can get is like Erdegaard. boom what are we gonna get today 86 i'll take it i'll take the 86 ledesma all the way to the bank on pop up now 83 85 appenda again good fodder Red player pick is going to be 85 again in Ricardo Horta. So, yeah, I'll certainly take that. Boom. Are we going to get one? No, we're going to get 284s. All right. It is what it is, right? There's, there's no... I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Let's just hope we can get something in this next one. Come on. Give me slightly better than 284s again. Oh, man. Welcome to the club. Very happy to announce... Zinedine Zidane, mid-icon, 94 rated, my favorite player of all time, my nostalgic favorite player growing up. It's between him, R9, and Ronaldinho, and I think I've always just enjoyed Zidane as a player, so I'm so buzzing to bring him into the RTG. Welcome, mid-Zidane, a very, very cool card. He might not be the most meta thing, even in three months' time, he'll still be in my squad. Uh, this is a... An end game icon for me uh, and someone that I can hopefully use a lot of and really, really enjoy to hopefully get something better. And, <coughs> well, we got a Ruben Diaz from the first one, which is decent. Um, to be fair, that is the sort of rating that I would expect and kind of hope for uh, for, for that. And uh, to my surprise, I got two uh, Centurions as well. Luckily, we'd already submitted Hasebi. So that was, in my eyes, a surprisingly half-decent 83 by 10. I then thought, if I do this again and get some good fodder, I might just have enough to finish up that Icon SBC. Maybe for tomorrow or, or something like that. And this happens. Um, now, if that last pack was surprisingly good, this one really surprised me in the fact that it was terrible. Boom. I'm opening it, covering up my eyes. Can't see anything. I can hear things, though. So, oh... World Cup uh, Zidane, no, not Zidane, don't need him. Pele, World Cup R9, welcome to the club. Mid Ronaldinho, hello, mate. Mid, uh, mid Hullet. Could have been Zambrotta, and I wouldn't have been mad at that, to be fair. But it's not, because he's on loan. Portugal, come on. No, it's not Eusebio. It's never Eusebio. England, no. Oh, it's Steven Gerrard. Is that any good? It's mid Stevie G. And my first player pick was 87 rated Acuna. Actually, not bad at all. Um, would either be good fodder or a serious contender for a decent centre mid sub. Um, we always like Acuna on this game. Second player pick is an 85 rated Tammy Abraham. Uh, probably not usable, but again, the sort of rating where I don't mind it if I get it in a red pick. And then we get ourselves the 87 Sorloth or Sir Lot, however you like to pronounce his name. Uh, but can you remember at the start of the game when he got his first in form and the lengthy meta was a real thing? This guy was the 20,000 coin cheap Haaland uh, and he was a beast. So yeah, I reckon this card's still pretty usable to be fair. 
And then from my two player picks, I get an 87 Goretzka in the first one, which is all right. Uh, and then we get an 87 Rudiger in the second pack, uh, in the second pack, which is all right as well. Boom. Let's see what are we going to get. Come on. It is an orange card. And that's going to be Jekko, isn't it? Yeah, he got one from the other night. 88 rated Jekko. Uh, so no team of the year there, but a strange orange card that I'm guessing is fodder because he's only got 71 pace. Um, could there be anything good underneath that? Could there be? I have no idea. What are we going to get? Ooh, that's awful. Look at that. Blue. I don't know what I don't know what blue would mean. Would it definitely mean team of the year? It's a walkout in form. French centre back. That is an 85 Lejeune. Um, I've got a feeling that that probably means there's not a good walkout or a team of the year behind it. Not ideal. Not ideal. But hey, maybe there'll be something. Can there please be? Oh, a 90 rated Van Dyke. You know what? That's a dub. It's going to open. And it's a gold walkout. Uh, it's Brazil goalkeeper from Liverpool. It's an 89 rated Allison. Hey, it's good fodder, but it's not a team of the year. In previous FIFAs, uh, he has had a team of the year card. And I, I've normally packed him. Is it the last couple of years? Um, yeah, well, that, there you go. We've got regular Allison to add to our list. And we get ourselves two informs. And two, three more walkouts. And that's a good 83 by 10, to be fair. Literally, the only 83 is this one and then the two informs, which are youth, useful anyway. What are we going to get? Boom. Come on, come on, come on. This game hates me. This game absolutely hates me. Stinking. So I got a Ramsdale, uh, an 85 Ramsdale. Could have taken the uh, the 81 Kemen there, but um, obviously we'll take the higher rated. And then another 85 in Lejeune. So uh, two 85s in my reds. And then my one of two, 84 plus. We get ourselves an 88 and an 85 in form. I'll take the rating in Tony Kroos. My 100k pack then. We do get a walkout, thank goodness. Italian centre mid from PSG. <clears throat> that is going to be Verratti. Do you know what? I'll take it from a 100k pack. I've certainly had a lot worse. So after an absolutely uh, crazy career, what a player he was. Or is still. I know he's just finished. But uh, uh, what a player. Gareth Bale, welcome to the club. 93 rated overall with 91 pace, 90 dribbling, 93 shooting, 92 passing, and 86 physical with 72 defending. Could come on as a sub centre mid, but probably the slightly more attacking one. It's opening. I can't see anything. It would be pointless for me to cheat now. Oh, welcome to the club. Uh, World Cup. Icon Pele or uh, Prime Hullet hey, for Argentina. No icon there. All right. Pain. No, we've already got Butragway. No, don't, don't, don't adjust your your TV set, your whatever you watch YouTube on your mobile phone. Probably, uh, we've already got Butragway. No, so that is not my icon. Portugal. Eusebio. No, it's never Eusebio either, is it? Italy. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's a prime. It is a prime. But it's Nesta. Welcome to the club. Flashback team of the year. Paul Pogba. 90 rated. Member of Club 80, of course. Uh, worst stats being pace and defending. And best stat being... Physical, actually, uh, over dribbling. So his dribbling is very good as well. Uh, I just think with five star skills and being six foot three, this man in the middle should be a bit of a monster. Um, he may be slightly overpriced and underwhelming in terms of stats, perhaps, but I still think he's just going to play really well. So, do you want to see what my reaction was at the time? I'll try and fake it for you now. Oh my God, it's a World Cup icon. Cameroon striker? We just packed Samuel Eto. That's actually a really good one. That was pretty much how I was at the time. And that's kind of how I feel right now. 91 rated Eto is actually a really good icon to pack. 1.5 million coins, by the way. Ridiculous striker to have. Um, apart from this one, where we get ourselves Team of the Year. Honorable mention, 
Jao Cancelo, what a huge dub that is for the RTG. A monster of a player who looks unbelievable. That's my left back problem sorted, isn't it? I just got to figure out the chemistry for it. So uh, now I've got a, a, a real player that can help get forward. Four star, four star, crazy stats across the board. Um, what a dub. Team of the year icon, 92 rated Jabby Alonso SBC. I'm actually buzzing to bring him in. Probably the sauciest card design we've ever had. That is, I mean, it's a team of the year slash an icon. It's brilliant, right? Beautiful. 92 rated Spanish CDM um, with, I mean, Club 80. But it's, it, for me, it's the really high passing and the high defending stats that are going to do it. I'm going to whack a shadow on there, get that pace up a little bit. He's up to four star, four star. It's just a nice depiction of what was a very good player. Out comes Di Maria. Zidane goes left mid to start with. Bale's in at right mid. Bale, Eto, Alawiran. They're going to be my front three. Alonso, Pogba, Zidane. That's going to be my back, uh, or my my middle three, my my mid my midfield trio. Sounds pretty good, right? And it is time to uh, to get to it. What are we going to get in this one then? Once again, I would, I'd been grinding for hours, so no no switching over to live lasty World Cup. Ivory Coast striker. We get ourselves. Didier Drogba, World Cup icon. Now, I didn't know exactly what to think at the time. Check this price on the market. 700,000 coins plus. It's a dub, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and the reason it's a dub, <coughs> four-star skills, five-star weak foot. Well, what are we going to get? I told you, it's not a World Cup icon. Is it a mid or is it a prime? It's Dutch. Centre forward. We get ourselves a 91 Cruyff. Let's go. 2.1 million coins, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the RTG, my friends. As soon as I saw Dutch centre forward and it wasn't a World Cup icon, I was like, it's basically Cruyff or Hullet. What are we getting? And uh, I guess at that point, it could have either been mid Hullet, um, sorry, mid Cruyff, Prime Cruyff, or Prime Hullet. And we got the worst of the three. But we still got a mid Cruyff, five star, five star, 2.1 million coins. Because he's got like 95 composure, and he's lengthy, and he's tall, and he's just going to break the mold. Um, and tired defenders are going to struggle against him. Now, this is me saying this without actually trying him yet. But a couple of friends of mine have used him as super subs and said he's very good. Uh, and I just remember how good he was earlier in the year. This is a good card, which with a hunter on it, I think is like a 93 rated striker with really good pace and shooting. Obviously, if you bring him on as a sub, he doesn't get any affected stats from the chem style and stuff. But uh, what a beast for an 83 and an 84 rated squad. Worth it. Rare players pack then does give me a walkout. Finally, something very good here. Uh, and it's Marquinhos. All right, we'll take it. An 88 rated tradable card. Obviously, I'm not saying that uh, Van Dyke wasn't a good pull from the player pick. But we get two walkouts in that pack. Laporte was in there as well. And then a walkout team of the week for the final one for the ultimate pack. And it is one of, if not the highest rated from this week's team of the week. Danny Olmo, 88 rated star team of the week or star inform, whatever they call it. Um, lovely stuff. Turns out he is the price. Oh, there we go. We packed ourselves a future star. I'd have preferred it if it had popped up over the inform, to be honest. Spent my tokens instantly, um, but it was all for the fodder. I want to get Ramos done, and I've got 187 squad to do it in. Can we get the fodder from this? Well, we get an inform, so I... Well, there could be future stars behind it. That's what I was thinking at the time, right? It's only Dante. So it's not like you're Martinez or Danny Olmo or any of the higher rated informs. So I was a little bit worried at this point. And we get into the pack and I see lots of good fodder. I don't see any future stars, unfortunately. But a De Bruyne, a Kroos, Ruben Diaz, Loris, uh, Loris Robertson, De Jong, Alexander Arnold. I mean, there was there's like 10 86, uh, 86 pluses in that pack, I'm pretty sure. So, or nine, and then the inform. Um... So yeah, I was I was genuinely very happy with the result of that. 10 tokens for that. So finally, welcome to the club. 91 rated team of the year flashback. Sergio Ramos. Oh, look at all the colours. It's 
Very vibrant, very, very awesome looking. I love this card design. And we've got a 91 rated Sergio Ramos with the uh, old man sort of Willy Wonka style walkout. I love that on flashbacks, actually. 83 pace, um, heavily split between acceleration and sprint speed. Apparently, he's not so fast on the... Uh, on the sprint speed, uh, only 77 of that. But if you're aggressive with him and try and push out early with that acceleration, apparently he's awesome. Future stars guaranteed then. Who are we going to get? We see Spanish striker from, is that Bilbao? Um, or Athletic Club? Is that the same club? I don't know. Apologies. Uh, we get an 87 rated Sanchet. Sanchet. What are we going to get from these today then? Can we get Hakimi? Well, we could get ourselves an 86 Hjoiberg. Actually, quite a lot of high-rated players in that one pick. Um, need it to be better than that, though. I want to see Hakimi. Oh, ooh. 88 Komen, 88 Tammy Abraham. In the end, I just take Komen. I don't really know why. Uh, I've already got the regular informed version of him, so I probably should have took Tammy. And then the final one, we get 86 Ruben Neves. Ah, no red Hakimi for lasty. That would have been the ultimate dream for this week's Team of the Week. We do get an 86 Dybala from the first player pick. Second player pick is going to give me an 87 Muller. One of three 87 plus base or World Cup heroes. It's done it to me again. It has done it to me again. 88 Di Natale already owned. That is the most valuable player in this pick. But the highest rated one is World Cup. Jean-Pierre Papin. Very fun uh, words to say there. It just rolls off the tongue. But such an L, bro. Oh, it's ridiculous. So this is a free ultimate pack. What are we going to get for it? We're going to get future stars, ladies and gentlemen. S Spanish striker from Real Madrid, ladies and gentlemen. It's an 86 rated. Ike Bravo. Uh, po possibly one of the lowest rated or lower rated ones. But... We also get a walkout in Verratti. One, two, three, eighty-fours. Couple eighty-threes, couple eighty-twos. I'll take it. And what are we going to get from it? We can get a future stars. Melier from Leeds. The French goalkeeper. 88 rated. Anyway, one of three. 86 plus. What are we going to get? Okay. Okay. Hear me out. We're going to take Kalulu, obviously. Gunter, Coleman, Major L's. Kalulu, I think, is a dub. So he's 100k, all right? Which, I don't know what how much the SBC cost. But we got someone that's worth 100k. Looks pretty good. Gets some links to some of the players within my club. And I could potentially try him over Maldini. Well, we've managed to get Kalulu. It's knocked Maldini out of the squad. Kept our chemistry the same. Um by way of putting Pogba up to two chem instead of one, and Kalulu down to two chem instead of Maldini being on three. So uh, we're still at 28 out of 33, but it will do for me for now. Uh, red player picks, the best we can get this week is a 92 Ronaldo or a 91 Cristiano Ronaldo. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen in the first one. We'll take an 87 though, 87 Canales will do me just fine. Uh, can we get a rating like that again? No, oh, we can right at the end. Jonathan David, the Canadian dream. And then we, can we get another 87? Oh, we can get an 88 this time. No Cristiano Ronaldo, though. Sag. I would have quite liked a red Ronaldo, I'll be honest. But we can still pack the informed version. Well, we're going to pack the informed Jonathan David. Um, and then the final player pick there is just an 85 Royce. That's not great, of course, but we will deal with it. Uh, and then we get 50k pack. Polish striker Robert Lewandowski. Hello, 60,000 coins plus. Welcome to my club. Yeah, I'll take that all day long. This has been a good set of rewards, really. Uh, if you think about it, red picks, 88, 87, 87. Um, 30,000 coins for getting rank 5. 30,000 coins for discarding the team of the weeks. 60,000 coins plus for Lewandowski. And a walkout in the final pack, the ultimate pack. It's going to be an 88 Tony Kroos. Now, that is 30-something thousand coins as well. I say we've made about 200k from our rewards here. Um, B 
because there are two informs in this pack as well. I was trying to work that out. How I'm a little bit short, but there was a couple of informs there, and uh, that makes up to about 180k. And then red player picks and non-tradable, high rateds and stuff. But yeah, I mean, if you sold all the tradable stuff there, you'd get up to 200k easy. Player pick bag, whatever, the, whatever it's called. It's 86 plus, and it's got a, a few different promos in it and uh, that's gotta be one of the worst ones we've seen yet right uh most people get some sort of dub from these i uh, i don't know if any of those are a dub i ended up just taking the 84 plus and it really pays off for me because we get a series legend in the main man atal oh welcome to the club my friend it wouldn't be a last rtg without me packing some sort of special version of atal who, I mean, this is a live item, of course. He's already Club 80. Let's just be a, the mass, like the, the absolute giant niece fan, shall we? Um, because I would love them to go and win it all. And then the final pack gives us, oh, you know what the title and the thumbnail suggested. It is that series legend, Yusef Atal. Welcome to the club again, my friends. This time, tradable. Oh, I've been so poor. For so long, I keep spending my coins on that academy player pick binge, and we've been down to nothing. And then the last couple of days, we've gone from zero to over 100k coins, you know, with a nice lucky preview pack and decent marquee matchups rewards. Um, and then, you know, this one, we've gone and packed a 200k plus player from, from our uh, Foot Champs playoffs rewards. Amazing stuff. I am buzzing about that because now we're going to have over 300,000 coins. What's it going to give us today? Well, I can tell you that it gives me a gold walkout. Uh, that is not great. 86 Brozovic. Now, does that mean there can't be any road to the finals or anything behind it? Well, there aren't. <laughs> Let's get Kevin De Bruyne. Come on. 87. And hey, we'll take an 87 Tadic. I'm looking for either Fodder or, or De Bruyne, really. We'll miss out the middle one. We'll go for the left one. KDB, welcome to the club, my friend. Oh, we'll take the 85 Reynaldo, who, by the way, can play center back with that 88 pace. Might not even be a bad option for some of you. Um, we'll take him. But yeah, unfortunately... It's not going to do much for us. Probably just be fodder. Uh, and then final red player pick. Boom. Come on, then. Come on, then. Ah, it's just 84s. Is it a World Cup? Is it a prime? You guys will know. Well, you actually won't because I'm still going to roulette it. But I'm hoping. Welcome to the club prime hullet. That's kind of like my ideal goal. Brazil. Oh, I just, I, I just want it to be Brazil. Come on. They're all loans. They're all loans. <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so sad. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe for a second, the heart fluttered a touch. Uh, what's next? Portugal? Eusebio? No, it's not going to happen. Now I've got a feeling this is going down the wrong, the wrong path. I'll do Italy next. And I just fear that we're going to get a Baresi or a Nesta that I just don't want. But I'll take a prime Maldini. Prime Del Piero. That's not ideal, is it? So I'll open it up. And I'll, uh, I guess I'll just put an earphone in. Yeah, it's opened. Now, put my controller down for a bit. Um... We'll obviously be able to see if it's already owned. And if it's already owned, it can be one of two players. I guess Zidane or Cruyff. I don't see already owned, which is good. And now we start to see the bottoms of the cards. So, both basic, obviously. Let's... Can we drag the side in here a little bit? It distorts the picture, but that's fine. And then... Like right here, what can we see? We can see very high passing on the left. Is that 93 passing? And actually, like, I think it might be 88 passing on the one on the right. 
So what? Oh no, 66 passing. So I don't know really what that means. Uh, 66 passing and 62 physical. It's unlikely to be, it's more likely to be someone like a striker, perhaps. So that could be good. But it's kind of low physical for a striker. The one on the left instantly just shouts like Chavi to me, I think, because incredibly high passing, but not super high physical. It's gotta be, it's gotta be regular Chavi. Is that 90 for a mid? Yeah, I mean, we, we know our stuff right there. That to me is really not ideal um, because this other one is not looking too promising at the moment. Uh, I could, what I would really hope for is that at least if it's fodder, I'd like it to be higher rated than 90. Like that could be 88 or it could be 90 or it probably, yeah, I mean, I, I actually don't know. Could be 89. Hmm. What about the slightly more, well, let's go for shooting and defending. 86 shooting, but 31 defending. So this to me is definitely like a striker. I'm expecting really high dribbling, really high pace. I still can't work out exactly who it is. But as long as it's someone really good, we're all right. Can't work out what that sort of hairstyle is. It looks like a short hairstyle. What are we saying? Should we reveal a little bit more of that? 88 is, that's that's really not good. Um, I can't work out who that is though. Or can I? Does that look like Michael Owen? Would Michael Owen's mid be an 88? Is it high pace? 91 pace, 87 dribbling, 86 shooting. I think that's Michael Owen. Let's just reveal it. Oh dear. Surely, right, I'll take Chavi. Surely you guys got better player picks than that if you've done the, the mid icon. Like he kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of interested in maybe giving him a go. Can he play CDM? He plays CM, so... uh if we wanted to give him a go, uh, I'd have to change my formation or maybe just bring him off the bench or something. And then a rare gold, which is about a thousand coins. So I think it's about four and a half K to 5,000 coins. By the way, little ones to watch Anthony. You reckon he's fodder or do you reckon we're gonna see upgrades on him across, uh, across the rest of the year? So we got 11 wins. What reds and what, uh, what packs are we gonna get today? We start off poorly with an Ito. 84 rated. That's not what you want to see when there are so many high rateds out. Um, Furpo next, 86. It's getting a little bit better, but I really want to see at least an 87 in my final one. Hey, we get Cobell, Furpo again. Oh, and a Philly Foden. We'll take Foden. He's going to be fodder, but we'll take Foden anyway. Uh, and then from the player picks, well, we get the option of Mainyan or Orange, Pedro Contalvez. I'm going to take the rating on that one. Just feel like it was it's better off. Uh, and then 85 and 84 will obviously take Busquets. From the team of the week pack, we can get a walkout. Argentina, no, it's not messy. It is Foden again, though. Hey, we'll take the 87. Uh, most weeks, I typically get three discard-worthy players. So to get someone that was worth 25k, uh, useful, useful, very useful. And then the ultimate pack, the final pack of the video. It is a promo player, finally. We get, oh dear. Do you know what? I was sharing these on Discord with my mates, and they were telling me that that was the hero card design. So I went in my head from getting Ginola to then realizing, oh no, wait, it's just a normal promo card to getting someone like Isaac to then it actually being Trimmel, Trimmel, who's 20, 27 and a half K. You guys will now be thinking, oh, has he got a World Cup? Has he got a Prime? Brazil? Dutch, France, oh my god, it's insane. I know I've got I've got loans of Ronaldinho, Pele, and R9. But is there anyone else in there? Boom! No. Ha ha ha. We knew they were there, but they've got that little blue circle on them, which unfortunately means they are not mine in the club. So let's do Argentina now. Not Argentina. Let's get pain out of the way. No, thank you. It's not Chabi Alonso. That did give me a small heart flutter, though, because I saw the icon colours. Portugal, Eusebio. No, but that also means it's not the likes of Figo or Deco. Is he still an icon? I'm not sure. Italy, it has been a lot lately. I'm actually going to gonna try, like, Germany for Mateus. Nope. 
So what have we got left? England, France, Netherlands, Italy. Uh, it's going to be English or Italian, isn't it? So let's check England. Please, no. It's not English. That's a good sign. France, Netherlands, Italy. Is it Italian? It's Prime Perlo. Damn it, man. Or an 87 plus base or FIFA World Cup. Player pick. Hero. What are we going to get? I just open it right now. Uh, we get ourselves. Oh, no. <laughs> we get ourselves Mario Gomez. Mascherano World Cup. Of course, we get him every time. Nakata. Duplicate Di Natale. Or Dirt Cow. World Cup version. Around 300k for this man. That's who I decided to take. My mates were saying, I don't know if you'll use him. I think you've got better. Maybe just take Mascherano. But Sutton's got to break the trend, all right? I think the last four hero player picks or packs that I've done, I've ended up with Mascherano. I've had him four times, I'm pretty sure. And we welcome Memphis Depay to the club. Uh, but for now, I mean, he might get a spot on the bench for a little bit. Because, let's face it, he's, he's a pretty good card. Let's have a look at it, all right? It starts off 89 rated with five-star skills, 89 pace, 88 shooting, passing, 90 dribbling, and 85 physical. It is pretty good, but I think I have better stats in some of my top-tier players. So, it's doubtful that he's going to get into the squad until he receives some upgrades. Now... That's where the fun comes in, is that we're pretty much just going just gonna to let this one go by for a little bit. Well, he might just sort of um, chill on the bench or chill in the reserves. And then this is a card that we can come back and look at and hope to see nice improvements on going forwards. So red pick number one is 85s. Either Mancini or Reese Nelson. I'm going to go with Nelson. Uh, he's got a little star above his above his rating. Uh, number two is 83 McAllister. Uh, it's a, it's a, not a nice red pick, that one, really, in all, in all honesty. And then the final one is not Salah. It's going to be Sula. Um, sounds a little bit similar, but a little, lot, lot different. Um, can we get anything higher than 84 rated in these? We'll see. What are we going to get? Uh, two 84s, but I'll take the inform. Jorge Molina. All right. Okay. Higher rated, please. Pack number two, or pick number two. Come on then, give me something. We'll take an 86 Tiago. But in my 83 by 10, I get uh, uh, not even a walkout. Hello, what? What's going on? Where's my pack lock gone lately? We get two 83 informs, and then 85, 84, 84, 84, 84, 83, 83, 83. Oh my days, that's got to be one of the worst ones I've seen. Oh, so I guess the thing to move over onto then is an enhanced Winter Rare Players Pack. It costs 150k coins and gives me five times boosted chance at getting a Fantasy Fuck player, which is exactly what I need. Um, could someone please explain to me why I haven't got a Fantasy Fuck there? Please. That is a terrible pack. Oh, there is one at the end of the pack, but it's only top rack. Do you know what? I just had dreams, right, of of one of the best ones, like an Eden Hazard or something like that, just uh, walking out, and that's what I would see, and I'd have a great thumbnail for the episode, and then uh, and then actually just an inform walks out, and then there's a top rack at the end of the pack, and, and nothing else really in the pack. And then, so that's that's Mario Gomez done, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted this player, so I'm glad we've gone ahead and and, and unlocked him. Um, the fodder from the from from the the packs has given me this. Now I am going to go ahead and choose the boom, the Serie A option. Um, for a minute, I thought that maybe this one was Bayern that he was playing for. It's not. It's Stuttgart, I believe. <coughs> yeah, VFB Stuttgart. And this one is Fiorentina. And I just think that they've got a a chance of winning a game. I think this one will get a plus one. 
they probably both get a plus one, to be honest. But I've got Paul Pogba and stuff in my club. So I could do with some Serie A links. Gonna take Serie A, Mario Gomez. Oh, by the way, we could do this, couldn't we? The player that took Eto's place. <gasps> or is it Drogba's place? Oh, I don't know. But for now, he can go in there. He gets Pogba up by one chemistry point, so that's pretty good. Uh, Eto would definitely have a spot on the bench should we should he be the one that I actually replace. Start with the red player picks then. What are we going to get? Best possible scenario would be an Ede Militao. We get a Walker Peters. <clears throat> all right, 87. I'm not going to complain. Uh, as long as we don't get him again, we'll be all, all right. Yeah, it's almost like I knew that was coming. Uh, yeah, so we take him again rather than just taking the 84 because I'll just use him in an SBC. And even if I discard him, like I'll just go ahead and grab him back within a few days. And then Iago Aspas. So triple 87s there for, uh, for our red player picks. I'm not going to complain with that. We'll add another 87 to it with a little Fabinho. And we'll add a 86 to it this time with a Dybala. Uh, but... That's decent rated. That's that's half a squad for an SBC. In terms of our team of the week, we get one of the highest, if not the highest rated. It is an 88 rated Berardi. Hey, I don't often get the, the super high rated stuff in the team of the week pack. It's normally not even a walkout. So I'll take an 88, 85 and 83. I can sell two of them for more than discard value. Once the things I've decided to sell have sold, we're up to 368,000 coins again. Base or World Cup hero. One of five, 87 plus. Come on. Give me that Lucio. That Ginola. That Yaya Toure. Ah, oh, man. Again. Again, it's kind of shafted me once again. Two Marquezes. World Cup and base. Base for Lan, World Cup, uh, Campos and World Cup Jungberg. I take Marquez just because he's the highest rated <clears throat> don't actually know who's the most expensive. Probably is Marquez, to be honest. Uh, and I pack my first foot birthday. I get German Cam, a high-rated one, 91-rated Thomas Muller. And that was, uh, yeah, literally like one of the, th the first things I did once I got back. Um, so was very, very happy with that. I so that is the 88-plus prime mid or World Cup icon Player pick, one of three. I've decided not to do it live today because I think my luck goes down the pan. I'm just going to open it and show you guys that I got Lam, Van der Sar, or Zambrotta. What do you think? So, essentially, this SBC came in at 480k. Van der Sar mid is 280k or 220k. Prime Lam is 480k and Zambrotta is 480k. So both of them two are the exact same price of the SBC. I think Zambrotta is more versatile. And I have considered doing his SBC actually because you can do it for like 530k I think. You can actually get the prime Zambrotta SBC. So we've got a bit of a, uh, a cheaper version of that for the same player. For the prime Zambrotta. He's now in my club. And um, I know I've got, I've got a tough choice. I've got Atal. I've got Cancelo. What do I do? So for now, I think I can just put Zambrotta in where Cancelo is. Because um, actually, a little bit like Cancelo, Zambrotta can play left back and right back. Uh, and that just brings the chemistry up a touch. It's only Pogba now that's off chemistry. And uh, I'm sure there's something we can do somewhere. I could even bring Pogba out, put Cancelo in at right back, and then put Atal in a centre mid or CDM spot in the midfield with Turam, drop Pogba. I don't know. I'd rather the fodder in this instance. I like the opportunity of maybe getting a nice, cool card. We see a walkout in form in my 85 times 10. Now, does that mean there can or can't be anything behind it? I'm not sure. It's time to go in and have a little look. We get Palacios again, and we get four in forms. Two of them 87 and duplicates. Two of them 85. Uh, two 85s, an 86, an 87, and then two 88s. I think it's borderline okay slash I don't mind it too much. Is Gary Lineker, that's the one. That's right, I put a tweet out about this the other day. Uh, this 90 rated Lineker SBC is less costly currently 
than a 90 rated player on the market. So if you're doing an SBC and you want to get, or even if you just want to get Lineker, you want to get an icon in your squad, uh, this is about 50k and uh, 90 rated players are about 60k. So uh, you've probably got some of the fodder in your club already. You get four tradable packs back, albeit not the greatest ones, but you're going to make some of that coinage back as well. It is a far cheaper option than going out and buying a 90 foot birthday player. Alexandro, welcome to the club. Um, actually, it looks like a really good card. And with a shadow on him, is going to get rid of some of the potential issue that some people were seeing, which was about his pace. It's a split where he is much faster with his sprint speed than he is with his acceleration. Um, and... I think with a shadow, I could get up, get him up to like 99 sprint speed, which is fantastic. Uh, but also then like 93 sprint speed, which I uh, acceleration, which I think is fine. I've said quite a lot how I quite like a right footer on the left hand side because it's enabled me to do some pretty like crazy Traveller crosses. But I think maybe a natural left footer on the left hand side might help me out a touch as well. Cristiano Ronaldo, reveal yourself. Boom, and we don't get him. Of course. So, who do we take? Uh, I'm going to take Morris, 85 overall. Player pick number two, boom. Ronaldo, 87 this time in Sangare. We've had his inform a couple of times. We've now got the red version of it. And then player pick number three. And Cristiano finally reveal himself. No, and of course, of course... The red player pick that we get, that when we had two options of 85s, we chose Morris over somebody else. Fulkrug, I think it was. And now we've got to choose someone else or just put Morris into something. One of two 84 pluses for birthday, please. No, but I'll take a Tony Rudiger. Thank you. 87. Good fodder. What are we going to get in this one? Come on, come on, come on. 86 Barella. All right. All right, the fodder is is, is all right, but I, I want something that is, like, top tier. And now one of four, surely a foot birthday in this. <sighs> Double 88, we get Cancelo or Kroos. Uh, gonna take Cancelo, because I hardly ever see this man pop up in packs. Just an image that I made. Uh, it basically looks like the player pick. As you can see, it's on screen right now. And then I should just be able to move it. And if I just move it, you'll be able to, we'll be able to sort of slowly reveal the stats. Oh, no, it's Tim Cahill. All right, I never would have guessed that. Please tell me it's not. Oh, my God. I've already got a better version of you, mate. Why are you appearing in my club? Could that be that? Freddie Jungberg. Oh, my God. All right, so I can turn the image off now. And then if I back out, we've been given an option of these guys. 88 Cahill, 87 Al Jaber, 88 Jungberg. That is, uh, it's absolutely tragic, isn't it? it a Kylian Mbappe finally on the RTG for 497,000 coins. Welcome to the club, the king of ultimate team, the one that everybody uses. I'm now part of the problem. Um, but yeah, I, I've wanted to use Mbappe on this game for a long old time. Luckily, I don't have Jarzinho, so I'm not a full-on rat. But um, yeah, I get to bring I get to bring Mbappe into the squad. And maybe I'll put Drogba back in there alongside him and Pedro. Uh, or maybe it's Eto, maybe it's Cruyff. I'm not sure who to go with yet. I've got plenty of options. But one thing's for sure is that we've got an Mbappe, uh, half a million coin player, probably one of the best players on this entire game in our club, ready to use in the weekend league. All I need to do is add this image over the top, press the button, and our uh, our player pick should have opened. I'm going to have to just carry on, carry on scrolling. It is... Oh, it is Dirk Kout. For some reason... I didn't realize his defensive awareness was that high. We already have this card in the club. It is an already owned. Is that like a Morientes or something? It's gold again. Oh, it's Papan. Of course. So no purple again. It's uh, it's Papan. Um, um, that's not good, is it? That tells me it's a freaking goalkeeper. <laughs> it's Campos. 
It's gone terribly wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get rid of this image. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously just giving it away straight away from the from the position um, or from the in-game stats. That's so bad. That is so bad. I've just spent all my fodder on that right there for a 90 Papan. Not going to lie, I'm disappointed. Uh, so I got my 11 wins. It's time for the rewards. What did I get? Well, first one, Red Posh. We seem to have packed this guy quite a lot this week. Second one, is it De Bruyne? No, it is, it's It's 88 David Soria. Shout out to Red Remy Cabela, though. That is a name that I had sort of forgotten existed. Um, and then I could have taken Gabriel Jesus, but I took Wijnaldum simply for rating. Uh, none of them are getting into my squad at this stage of the game, so it's all about the fodder for me. We get an Allison, <coughs> which is very nice, and then a Laporte, which, again, I'll, I'll take. So not bad rewards. Now, of course, we open up the 584 plus. And we get a Trophy Titans icon. It is the Spanish goalkeeper. A full 93 rated Ica Casillas. Trophy Titans icon. Welcome to the club. Potentially my new goalkeeper for the rest of the game. Is he good? Is he not? In the rest of the pack, we get another posh, obviously. And then 85, couple 86s. Can't complain there because we got a 93 rated icon goalie. Lovely stuff. So, yeah, could... Could Casillas find his way into, into my starting eleven? Well, it all depends. It would help Ramos for Cam. Alonso would be good for Cam. Maybe Pedro. Hmm. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm probably overthinking it. So, if you've enjoyed today, ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. It's episode two hundred. I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you out there for your crazy support for two hundred episodes. Do you reckon we'll get another 100 in this year? Oh, I hope so. And uh, I guess all there is to it is to say thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.